The spark came in 2006, and again three years later. Suddenly, gas to Central Europe was drastically cut. Energy security was the new buzz phrase. And here on Poland's Baltic coast, they're doing something about it, constructing the region's biggest liquid natural gas terminal, backed by the EBRD. When complete, it could supply half the country's gas needs. But the significance goes well beyond Poland's borders. W tej chwili Polska ma problem tego typu, że gaz prowadzony jest wyłącznie z jednego źródła. Terminal to nasze okno na świat. To jest największy terminal w całym basenie Morza Bałtyckiego. Stąd zmieni on nie tylko sytuację na naszym polskim rynku gazu, ale także wpłynie na cały region. Across Central Europe, the EBRD is helping meet the challenges of energy security. Here in Hungary, the bank invested 200 million euros in the construction of a massive underground gas storage facility. It's a key link in the chain to join regional facilities from north to south and reduce reliance on the east. But there's still much to be done. Still, a lot of key infrastructural elements are missing in this part of, of Europe. These are mostly interconnectors, reverse flows, upgrades of internal systems. So the most important task is to finish the infrastructural developments which are needed. One. Second, to, to get over the non-infrastructure barriers which are in front of trade, to create policy, to, to uh, create the regulatory and the legal environment which makes the integrated energy market in this part of uh, Europe functional. Energy security means more than diversifying energy supplies. A third of the EBRD's investments in energy utilities is in renewables, like this wind farm in northern Poland. In Poland alone, the bank's investments in renewable energy can light nearly half a million homes. And greater energy efficiency means you need less fuel to begin with. Tatra Vagonka, manufacturing railway freight cars, benefited from the bank's sustainable energy finance facility in Slovakia. Coal-fired boilers from the 1960s were swapped for gas-fired ones. Skylights were replaced and infrared heaters introduced, slashing emissions and giving fuel savings over 10 years of more than a million euros. The bank's also backing alternative forms of fuel. This biogas station below Slovakia's Tatra mountains can generate enough power for 2,000 households. And here's where a lot of the fuel comes from, cow dung. Frantisha Glizak is a farmer and the co-owner of the biogas station. For him, it's straightforward good business sense. Energy is a second harvest. My polnohospodári tu hospodaríme v nadmorskej výške okolo 700 metrov nad morom. Keď my vyrábame obilniny, ktoré chceme predať, tak je to už niekde august, začiatok septembra a dovtedy naši kolegovia z Dolňákov vyprodukujú toľko obilia, že zasobia všetky, povedzme, veľkosklady, pivovary a mlyny. Ja by som videl aj význam hlavne aj pre nás, že si vlastne vytvárame akoby druhý produkt, ktorý nám pomôže pri prežití vôbec a vytvorí nám ďalšie zdroje alebo bude nám vytvárať ďalšie zdroje, ktoré môžeme ďalej do plnohospodárstva investovať a modernizovať našu výrobu plnohospodárskú. Since 2006 and across its countries of operation, the bank has invested more than 13 billion euros in energy efficiency projects. Here in Central Europe, that's a commitment the EBRD can be especially proud of. <laughs>